All right, uh, it's my second attempt to make this damn video. So, uh, a couple months ago, Kevin Samuels was briefly, I, I know, I know he's dead. Um, Kevin Samuels was briefly uh, accused of being um, an influencer to a teenage black boy in the UK to kill a girl that he was trying to date. But he ended up killing the best friend. So a, a, a lot of these, they don't even really have concrete evidence to even prove that Kevin Samuels or Andrew Tate was responsible or that this kid, you know, even still to this day, there's barely any information on it. There's no clues that he listened to Kevin Samuels, that he knew what the Manosphere was, that he knew what the Black Manosphere was. Uh, may, he be may I'm pretty sure he may have heard of Andrew Tate and Kevin Samuels through passing, but there's no evidence. There's no evidence saying that Kevin Samuels expi uh, inspired him to uh, to kill a girl that he wanted to date. And these these black feminists have been using a lot of talking points to make it seem. I am not even talking points. False accusations to make it seem that. Kevin Samuels was this evil piece of shit guy that wanted black women and shit like dead or abused by black men when, you know, if you if you have sources like, per se, um, let me pause this real quick. All right, so I, I couldn't, I couldn't find, conc I couldn't find the article that I was looking for, but I, I found a, uh, the, what is it called, the Coley? And some Reddit that was like trying to blame Kevin Samuels, but uh, I couldn't find the article. I remember I re I read like two articles. I don't know where it was from. If it was from the T Teen Vogue or Sun UK magazine, but I I remember they name dropped Kevin Samuels for some odd reason, but they uh they added in Andrew Tate because they knew that Andrew Tate was is a little bit more i guess known granted for us for black men we would say kevin samuel was more known or influential but because andrew tate is like an easier punching bag and I, you know i would say he's he's kind of easier to target because he's racially ambiguous to where you know he can he you know he can pass a, for white so I I, th I think that's one reason why they like targeting him because he he's ba he's kind of seen as a proxy white man. Um. Uh, so this but I just found this a couple seconds ago. So the only thing the only connection from the 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 stabbing incident in the manosphere was this uh was was this was this uh video that that's the only one I can find on YouTube. Remember divisive social media influencer Andrew Tate, who is currently charged with rape, human trafficking, and forming a criminal gang to sexually exploit women? Well, he and his brother are blasting critics who say they're responsible for a recent grisly crime. Andrew's brother Tristan Tate weighed in on the gruesome killing of a 15-year-old girl in South London by a 17-year-old boy on Wednesday. He railed against a suspect who's now in custody, but in doing so, he emphatically sounded off on critics, blaming him and his brother Andrew Tate for influencing the murder. Let's take a look. How did he influence In a world where every man takes Andrew and Tristan Tate's advice, this does not happen. That is not masculinity. That is the opposite of masculinity. That is acting out to your emotions, feeling sad, feeling rejected, and lashing out with violence. Everything we preach from stoicism, self-accountability, emotional control would have prevented this from happening. And it pisses me off that they'll attack yeah, and I I, I I gotta show this to Dr. T. I gotta, I gotta like link it in because I Dr. T has been going through a lot of uh, going through a lot of uh, emails about false accusations, and I, I definitely want to send him this because this is this is crazy. You know, this is crazy that again, you know, we're we we in a society that doesn't really know where accountability falls, and you know some random guy on the internet that, you know, this kid's 
too young to be listening too seriously somehow inspired him to kill it. Oh, come on. Use, use some logic. And, and then you got black bitches from, the, um, from America trying to say Kevin Samuels inspired him to do it. And this bitch is way over here in the UK. I'm like, like pick and choose. Andrew Tate, Kevin Samuels, who? A lot, a lot of these females, they, they, the, the thing is, is that a lot of black women, especially, are fighting and gnawing to have a white woman's license. Now, what you mean by a white woman's license? A white woman's license is basically the ability to accuse a, a, a man, particularly a black man, with, with zero merit, proof, or whatever, just here on hearsay. And when, when men say something, when men provide facts, it's, like, it's, it's, it's still crazy to me to this day that Jonathan Majors, he was told by, I guess, his critics, his black critics, that, hey, man, what, Jonathan Majors, you, you need to stop, you don't, you don't need to put that tape out there. Don't show that tape, because if you show the tape, it'll make you look guilty. It'll make you look more guilty. What? How can, how can evidence make you more guilty when he's trying to prove his own innocence? That doesn't make any sense. Just like it doesn't make any flipping sense that, um, damn, I lost my train of thought, but we're, we're still in this kind of this really, this world that doesn't know how to handle lies and it doesn't know how to accept when women are wrong. I ask if Kevin Samuels I, I, I've, I've listened to him more than Tate. So I don't know all of Tate. But if there was, name me a Kevin Samuels snippet. Give me a uh, Andrew Tate snippet where he's condoning violence through death. Especially of a young girl. A teenager at that. Give me an example. And if, if, if you believe that there is a sound bite out there, why did it took this long for it to be public? I'm 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 just wondering. Andrew, ban him from schools, plaster his face all over every newspaper, and say that he's a danger. The Tate brothers were not involved in the fatal stabbing, but it didn't stop critics from blaming them on social media, claiming the event is a byproduct of the Tates' rhetoric. Young men are being brainwashed and radicalized by the influencers. Tate was previously banned from various prominent social media platforms for, for expressing misogynistic. But, but how do how, how how does this how, how how does this magically connect these dots of randomness, random teen rage? somehow inspired this kid and it's like we don't even we don't even know his internet history this kid could have been into bestiality for all i know we don't know we don't know nothing about this kid's um web history web browser history but somehow out of thin air some black feminist was like that sounds that sounds like something kevin samuels would do I, and I'm just like, it, it, it's, it's really this bad. It, it's, it's really this bad that you're trying to create an atmosphere to where particularly black men are giving a fair... And, and, and this is crazy because black women were the, were the main ones trying to talk about prison reform. And it's, it's funny how now you don't even want that anymore to the point to where you're, 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 you want to be as deviant you want to be the new clan member that's what you want to be it's funny how there's all these guidelines but it took so long it took so long to get cynthia g out the internet it took so long for her to get permanently banned but everybody was but but everybody was on tommy sotomayor's neck
Yeah, yeah, Cynthia G, even on Fox Soul, and Dr. Umar was trying to talk about, hey, man, why, I'm trying to understand, why did you say that you support the abortions of only black boys? What did the sisters of Fox Soul say? They didn't say shit. They ain't got, they ain't got shit to say. They, they, ain't, they ain't got shit to say about that. Oh, we're going we're gonna to go to commercial break, and new topic once we once we get off the commercial break. I'm const I'm constantly seeing bullshit on TikTok about how black men are so downtrodden. We're losers. We're broke. We're cheaters. We're terrible fathers. We're deadbeats. All this shit. Black woman praising the dirt, praising the rubble of the Arab man she never even fucking met. Don't even know any Arabs other than other than the dudes. Running the corner stores and gas stations. Don't know nothing. Don't even go to school with their kids, and they don't even know who the kids are. They or the kids just take their money, and, and that's it. She has more respect when they spit on her face than when you try to treat her like a queen. News and for quote unquote hate speech. Fans of the brothers pushed back against those pointing the finger at them following this grisly attack. Maintaining violence is in opposition to what they preach. All right. I just want to say up top, there's no connection between the Tate brothers and this killing. It's not even a situation where there was a manifesto or something where they, we know that the uh, alleged killer followed. Look, look, look at them going back on their horse. Look, look, look at them go back. But watch, but watch this though. They're gonna they're gonna say something where they don't they they they're, they're gonna make sure that they're saying, hey, we'll admit that the fucking allegations were wild, but we we still are not gonna provide a safe atmosphere for men. Tate brothers or did so at the instruction or the perceived instruction of the Tate brothers. There's there's no there there. She, she's she, she's grinding her teeth. She's grinding her teeth because she would she would have rather this if she can accuse that kid of breathing the exact same air as Andrew Tate and that's the thinnest connection that they have she would have ran with that shit. That being said, I want to give voice to why people are saying this. Um, the argument is that there is a now widespread and pernicious culture of content creators like the Tate brothers, who very explicitly talk about using misogynistic language and tools of control to get women to do what they want to do. They say things like, we don't support violence, but there have been videos where the Tates have bragged about their collection of kni knives and how they can use them to threaten and coerce women to do X, Y, and Z. He's obviously being charged with what is at best characterized as a fraud scheme where he preys on the self-esteem of women so that they do uh, oh sex work God. on camera oh for him God. and Please. pay him all of the vast majority of the profits without keeping any for the, much of it for themselves. He is on camera saying things like, I tell them that I'm collecting this money from them I, because I, I need to pay taxes, but there are no taxes. I'm just pocketing it. I mean, the gap between how they present themselves and what they have said on camera is but, but this as, but this is crazy you know you know but well, this is what crazy L let there be a situation to where um a, a, a conservative for the love of the queen uh white guy like a like a like a Pierce Morgan Pierce Morgan L let him be in a situation to where he's defending uh, a, a white guy, an old white guy who got mugged by a African Im immigrant in, in, in the in the in the alleys of London. Let let that happen, and they're they're gonna talk about man these kids. They listen to that UK drill and shit. We need to, we need to do like what New York does, and we need we need to ban drill music and the violence that the, the that it's teaching the youth. And these kids need to go to and they, and watch out these little, these little liberals they'll 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 the black liberals they'll they'll do backflips and be like oh no you didn't oh no you didn't it it has no connection it's about expressionism and you know they'll do all their little artsy fartsy you know over 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 dramaticism about the true meaning of, of the lyrics and all that stupid shit but 
they they'll they'll defend debauchery. <laughs> it, it, it's just that it depends on the opposition. Man. It's just the, the two facedness of black women. It, it's something else as the Grand Canyon. <laughs> that doesn't mean I think they're directly responsible right. for this, of course, but we should put in context that there's a reason why people are asking this question of, of what there's a cultural trend that is causing boys to not see girls as full human beings and therefore be more likely to take their lives or do violence against them. Yeah, I find that there is a pre-existing uh, level of mental health concern among young men. Um, who feel aggrieved oh, don't, by don't the system me, for whatever. Don't give me this bleeding heart bullshit. Don't, don't, don't give me this bleeding heart bullshit that, oh my God, we care about men and boys. And, you know, it's, it's about the therapy and, you know, you, you guys need to learn how to express yourself. I mean, I've seen, I've seen women on TikTok talking about, like, dudes need to be gay and dudes need to do sleepovers like women. So, so they can, so they can ex feel comfortable being themselves. I'm like, yeah, but you were the same bitches, you know, finding any little thing that uh, a man likes and labeling it as gay, so he wouldn't do it. So fuck, fuck what you mean. Reason who feel that their generation is not getting involved in long-term relationships, maybe they're not having as much sex as they would like, and generally feeling a lack of connection amongst their peers and, and with but society. But that predates the Tate brothers. And yeah. I think the problem that I have with generally the sort of manosphere movement, at least a large chunk of it, is that they're prescribing the wrong solution to these disaffected men because they're actually sending them further down a rabbit hole of failing to treat other people with respect. Right. Here, here's the thing, and th this is the thing that mainstream media refuses to acknowledge. You, you refuse to acknowledge that the girls that these kids are going to school with, the women that they're trying to date and be interested, You fail to acknowledge and accept that the 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 nature of women of modern women is so freaking chaotic that it it has literally driven dudes dudes fucking insane to where it's like they don't even know where to go. They don't know if they 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 have to fight harder with their looks maxing bullshit. They don't even know if they have to give up on life completely and become a true force loner. It, the, the 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 spectrums are so fucking wide. No one, there, there's no fucking panel. There's no news discussion about girls bullying boys. You don't you don't see that shit. You you, you don't you don't see that shit. To see people as fully uh, realized humans and of. Basically, putting yeah, be be a be a black man, <laughs> be a black boy, and then and then lecture me about who's seen as who as a human, please. A show of what they perceive to be an alpha masculinity, mm -hmm. and the Tate brothers, in their response to being blamed for this grisly crime, are mm -hmm. saying, "Well, we preach self control and bottling up your emotions." <laughs> Regardless of what Tate says, does, believe, how you, you tell me that you have to give a concrete, concrete com comparison, a link to say that he had, he has something to do with this little girl's death, that he inspired this boy to, to think the way he did. I'm, I'm, I'm yet to see any journalist ask for, hey, I want, because you know, the police already did it. Because they they they're they're running they're going to run with it too. Let's let's see if we can find a connection to who he's listening to. Let's see if we can link him to terrorism. Let's see if we can link him link him up to a radical group and all this shit. Most likely, there there was nothing there for them to go on. So I'm just wondering why the hell these these reporters didn't ask the police to say, hey, could you release his web browser history? Like, as they shot into the camera. <laughs> right, as they're screaming at the camera. Half naked. And I don't know if it's like, uh, if from my religious perspective, I'm a traditional Catholic. I feel like 
there is positive masculinity and there are ways to address the disaffected men all, in our society takes, in ways all, that I don't care how I don't care what you believe. All it takes for her is just to be a little mad, a little upset. And she can fuck someone's life up. It, it, it don't even have to be anything major. It doesn't even have to be a big issue. It just takes something so small and significant. To where she will let her emotions as a woman control her to fuck someone's life up. But, you know, you, all this talk about humanity. I'm like, shit, I, I don't know no woman who who, even, who, res, I'm, who respects educated lames. I've, I've been fighting this fight for 10 years plus. Putting a voice out there on TikTok and shit. They didn't get a lot of views, but I got people talking. I got people making angry responses. You 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 have black educated lanes who who grow up feeling like the ugly child, who who grow up going to school feeling like a goddamn um uh what, what's that word I'm looking for. Start with a P. Not parasites. Um, fuck. Not a plebeian, you know. I I I forgot. It sounds like parasite, and it sounds like plebeian a little bit, but it's it, it's not. Um, I I'll just say feel like a nuisance or uh. Damn, I I really want to get that word. Fuck. I'm too curious now. Damn, what is that word? And I, I use that word, but in, but anyways, you guys know what I mean. You got you guys you have educated lame to feel alienated at school by black girls, and then when they try to say something about it, like here's here's this fucking gaslighting, and I, I I've fucking seen it so many times in fucking TikTok to where. You can hardly find a a, 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 a a black nerd saying how he was really treated, and you will, you will even have black nerds on TikTok talking crazy about, well, if she doesn't like you and if she doesn't think you're uh you know you're cool, bro, that's just you being weird. Like they'll literally talk like that. it's you being weird, bro. You 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 need to put down the Yu-Gi-Oh cards and 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 take a shower. That's something that they always say. You need to take a shower and 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 learn to to be nice to people and, and stop putting Yu-Gi-Oh and all that shit in a girl's face. Be normal. <laughs> it is it, it's like the most gaslighting and shit. And I'm like, okay, here's the real life experience. The, and this is this is because this is what pisses me off. This this is a real life experience that has happened multiple times. So where you you will know a chick. You you let's say you're in the same class or whatever. You'll know her. Um, she'll be in your class. You just met her, and for like what? How long is the average? You know, grade school semester. Eight months, eight months. Eight. I, I, I would say eight months. Eight months. For seven months, this chick will literally see you as a fucking loser. She, she, will, she will bully you, make you feel like complete shit. Don't care. Enjoy the torture of you. Encourage others to do it. And then at the last month of school, she wants to be your fucking friend. How many people experience that bullshit? They they will treat you like shit for seven months out of the year. By the time they're trying, to, by the time the class is saying goodbye to each other and they're worried about where everybody's gonna go, 
for next year or how they're going to graduate and all that shit. She will actually see you as a person. <laughs> it, it, that, that, that's the frustrating thing about it, but. Support um, the biological deep uh, predispositions of men and, and masculine men in particular. But those values are about responsibility about actually being in tune with your emotions and knowing when is the proper time to express them and also being protectors and providers. None of that is synonymous with, I think, the vision that they yeah, we, present, we, that which is more- provide shit. We're, we're cutting that off, man, 2023, 2024. We're cutting that shit off. ...of an aggressive position. And aggression is a part of masculinity that can be used in positive and negative ways, I don't feel like they're using it in a positive yeah, way. I mean, they're, they're being exploitative. Right. Um, so this is also coming on the heels of another controversy involving a different Manosphere uh, streamer named Sneeko. I confess, perhaps due to my big age, I had never heard of this uh, young man before this viral video, but apparently this Sneeko person did a meet and greet and seemed to be- You know, I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised like they, when they do research on the man, they, they're they not really getting good sources. They're not getting good academic sources. Why aren't you guys qu uh, quoting or looking at BGS? Tia Son Johnson, Dr. Curry, uh, uh, Dr. Thunder. You you have, and these guys have a sizable um, subscriber. They're, they're well known. They're influential. Mr. Palmer, uh, all of them. You guys are not, you guys kind of fall for the, the gimmicky shit of the white manosphere and you're not getting an, uh, you're not getting an, uh, you're, you're not getting an authentic, an authentic manosphere. You're getting clickbait bullshit about some dude who's jacked up on roids and shit talking about. You know, I better not catch you masturbating today. I better not catch you masturbating today. Like, that's their stick. And that's, that's the thing that kills me with these muscle-head, manosphered white dudes who only talk about semen, uh, uh, what is it, what is it called? Semen, uh, damn. Yeah. Retention, semen retention. That's what's killing the fucking. That's what's killing uh, testosterone. That's what's killing your masculinity. You keep masturbating to women who aren't fucking you. I don't even heard that from a dude. You're masturbating to women who don't even want to fuck you. That's stupid, <laughs> dude. It's a ba It's a basic biological function. It's a it's a basic fail self fail safe function for your body. Because it has, because what happens if you don't have sex? What if you're you're not sexually pleasing? You you cannot get a relationship. You cannot have. What 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 do you expect that dude to do? Common sense, man, and 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 that's why nobody in the black manosphere, no one really in the manosphere, nobody quotes y'all stupid asses. No no one quotes these muscle head. Uh, semen retention dudes because you guys don't have good talking points. It's this, it's it's the it's like the same Christian uh re reform camp logic of just don't touch yourself and and that's it. I like that's basically all y'all's talking points. You guys have no other view on life or anything or it, it's just that. Just just work out all day. That that will get you happy. How what the fuck does that do? Okay, he works out, but the thing is, it's not about him being active or, or it's good. It will, it might boost his self esteem. It might make his body feel a lot more, you know, flexible and shit. He might more, he might feel more positive about himself. But here's the thing: you get to go home to a social life. You get to go home to a girlfriend. You get to go home with a girlfriend, and plus other girls that want to be with you. You can be a fit dude. The, the dude you're teaching, he's a fit dude. But guess, guess who his only source of social, of uh, um, 
his only social connection is. It's you. So the more times you hang out with that those girls, you're killing his time with you because he's dependent on it. And he's going to realize, eventually you'll realize and kick in that, okay, this, this gym shit's boring. The girls still don't want to fuck with me. And now you're a social crutch to that kid because you, you introduce him to a new drug, but the thing is, it's not doing shit for him. Shocked by the nature of the statements that these very young boys, they look to be what, like 10, 11, 12, 13? I'm not good at ages. Um, uh, we're you can't play the video, but the, the kids were saying to him, F the women, F the women. Um, and when he interrupted and said, no, 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 we love all, we love women. The kids said, we love women. Okay. But like not transgenders. They then said F gays, all gays should die. Um, he interrupted again. No, no, no. You know, all, all of those kinds of things. And then he looks at the camera and says, what have I done? Kind of like joking, but seeming a little rattled by what these very young children were saying. He later issued a, a kind of apology. And then we just showed a tweet up on the screen. Um, where he's injecting himself into this Andrew Tate discourse, uh, quoting somebody who is attributing the murder to incel culture that he is arguably a part of and saying, well, this is why women shouldn't vote. Not exactly <laughs> making the case that he is someone who is not contributing to the level of misogyny that may or may not have an imp impact on a 17-year-old boy as he looks at a 15-year-old girl and decides whether or not her life is really valuable. Yeah, I mean, I think the I think disconnect that I have with these people is yeah, they... I know. It, it kind of it hurts my brain listening to people who have a very uh, popcorn view of the, of the manosphere where they, they're just looking at only the content that gets like a million views and all that shit. It, 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 it's just as bad as people that think pearly things is like an, is, is the manosphere. It, 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 it really does get on my goddamn nerves. Uh, damn. The family of a 15-year-old who was stabbed to death in Croydon have shared their heartbreak at the loss of their beautiful girl. I must say something that is going to be difficult to accept, and I've been trying to find an easy way to say it, but I don't think there is, exists one. The radicalization and incelification of young boys, young teen boys, is making them lose their innocence. And by proxy, we are going to be but unable... Remember, and I, I, I put a comment in there, and she, I, I believe she deleted it. But this this is the same woman who called black boys and men bullet bags. And she said that out of rage over an insignificant troll. And she gets trolled every day. It's, it's not even like the troll that trolled her was any good or said anything that was like exploitative or anything. This was her feelings that she's been having about how she truly feels about black boys and black and black men as bullet bags. The thing is, is that there's a, there's a, there's a, and I'll give Dr. Umar this credit. He says that there's always, there's a, in every Negro, there's, there's a little white man in their head. And, and, and black women's inner white man is really showing the fuck out. To where they, it's almost like they, they, it's not even almost like they are, they are. They pretend to love us. When you ask them to, they'll go to every direction except you. And these are coming from the TikTok. I, I ain't talking about Keisha and them. I'm talking about these black feminists, these, these black uh, activists who have um, hundreds of thousands of views and followers and all that shit. You know, getting money from corporations for activism or their view, their toxic viewpoints, and she's she's monetized too, so she she's getting money, you know, and giving it to Palestine or whatever. But it's the fact that 
she can't be canceled for calling black men bullet bags because she she can wiggle her her way out of it and make it seem that well you made me feel this way. No, you you had those you had, you had it suppressed. That's how you really feel. So why the fuck do you have this bleeding heart about some about black boys being inset and in, uh, inceled or what or whatever or radicalized? They hate women and all that bullshit. And I'm just kind of sitting back. I'm like, okay, let 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 let's just run with let's just run with it in, in the sense of in in America. Let's just run with it. Who 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 has the kids majority of the time? Who gets the custody? Who's influencing these kids the most? Who who are the teachers? Who are you fighting the most to get away to have your children stay away from? And you're wondering when you keep suppressing masculine, when you keep suppressing male identity, when you keep suppressing the father needing to be active in the child's life. Are are you surprised of the results? And this, I'll just say this is a ledge. I don't even believe this shit. This woman I'm talking about. I don't think I don't I don't think the majority of black boys are that damn radical. You know these little these little niggas. You know. They're they're all they care about is rap lyrics. Football, uh, Ro- Rolex, you know, an Adidas jumpsuit, you know. I, 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 I highly doubt that you know all these bl- these black boys are that into the manosphere and they're taking so much time of their life. Yeah, they heard of them, but it's like I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not buying into this shit. I'm not, I'm not, not at least not yet. Not, I ain't buying into this shit to see their innocence and adolescence because they're going to be a danger to society and when i say that i mean that this is the same this is the same woman who said who called black men bullet bags same woman so deeply in my chest that nothing is going to shake that because y'all are failing our boys and i want to see them as young that's cat so bad i want cat because you you don't you don't want them to be black boys i mean to be you don't you don't want those black boys to be black men you want them to be bullet bags those are your fucking words. That is your motherfucking words. You call black men bullet bags. And you were supposed to be this great activist who was fighting for police reform, Black Lives Matter. But now when that organization is dead and gone and they ain't got a leg to stand on and you ain't got no money in your pocket from that, you got, now you're hopping on the Palestine train. Now, now you're doing this black feminist shit. That you've been crowbarring in for the longest. And you get mad when people call you out for that shit. See them as young teen boys that have the ability to grow and the ability to change, but you're failing it, so much. Because if you cared about what, how black boys are being raised, why aren't you on these panels with, 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 with uh, BGS or um, uh, Mr. Palmer? You, you're... you're, you're you, you, you're not with Dr. Thunder. You're not with Tia San Johnson. I mean, like, even if you don't like the manosphere type dudes for the cussing on their views, you can at least find a safe haven in Dr. Tia San Johnson. That's why I always bring him up because he 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 is very neutral. He is very neutral, and he has a very easy approach to where you know it, it's not trolling. It's genuine feelings. It's genuine thought. So if you don't like the cussing or you don't like the radical views of some other YouTubers, that's fine. I'm giving you Dr. T. Hassan Johnson. And I'm, I, he, as long as he's been in, on the internet and for so, a, a chick who's doing all this research and, and you know, hell, he, even Dr. T. met Kevin Samuels. Even with, I, I'm, I'm just wondering, how can you not know these people? And all you have is an Andrew Tate snippets, some Kevin Samuel snippets, took it out of order and some shit. But when it comes to other YouTubers and other black men who are more sane or have a easy, an easier uh, um, digest of the manosphere, you don't talk about them. You, don't even, you pretend you don't even know about them. Maybe you don't even know about them, but you don't take the time to look for them. 
And that, that's what I'm noticing. Because Dr. T. Hassan Johnson has made a lot of progress in talking about uh, emotional black labor. I, 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 don't, I don't see you doing snippets about that. I, and he's been talking this for years. Uh, and this is was the most heaviest he, he's talked about it this year. But I, I don't see no black feminists doing snippets about that. I don't even see black women doing snippets of his videos. But, but, but for, for a girl that call black men bullet bags, you care about how black boys growing up. But, but let you talk long enough, you will probably don't even see the point of why a, fa- a black father needs to be in his kid's life. You, you probably won't even care about that shit. Our girls are getting the brunt of it. That 15-year-old black girl, Eliane Andam, got killed by a 17-year-old boy in, in the midst of trying to protect her friend from him because he premeditatively brought a machete just in case his ex, the friend, wouldn't accept the love note and the flowers. And now a 15-year-old little black girl is dead. We are failing our boys. We are failing them because you fail to acknowledge that. Yeah, okay, we, 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 we've been saying that. But the thing is, you you want to you want them to fail so bad to where they become the very bullet bags you pray that they, and hope that they become. That's your conniving bitch ways. Society hates women and girls so much. You're failing them that you're creating monsters. Our young boys are becoming monsters. You think we want to go around seeing 15, 16, 17 year old boys as potential dangers to to us, to young girls? No. I, I hardly believe this shit now. What the fuck? Y'all y'all have no problem running to Ray Ray and Pookie and them. So I, I'm, I'm actually kind of fake shocked that you guys are afraid of danger and shit. <laughs> you know, you have a bunch of black men telling black women, you need to stay away from these neighborhoods. You need to stay away from them clubs. You need to stay away from such and such area. Black women. Who the fuck you think you are? I go where I want. Black women. Also black women. Oh my God, I gotta, oh my God, TikTok, look, there's a whole bunch of black men, and it, it, it's, it's, it's 1 a.m. after club hours, and look at all these black men just, just drinking liquor and smoking weed. I'm gonna go change, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go get some gas at this gas station. Yeah, I, this one right here, even though there's another one that's empty, I'm gonna go to this one right here. And I'm gonna hold my camera. Look at look at them. They're trying to grab my butt. Look 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 at look at them. They they try they trying to grab they trying to grab my butt. Look 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 look. look. They they trying to grab my butt. Oh no no no! You can't get it, Ray Ray. You can't get it, Pookie. <laughs> and they they literally troll. They're they they they're bit. Yeah, they they troll too much, man. But the black women. <laughs> Look at me, guys. I'm I'm in danger. Look, look, look at me. Look, 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 look at him. He got a gun on him. Look, 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 look. I'm I'm, I'm gonna take a picture of it. Ooh, ooh. Show it off. Show it off. Show it off. Show. It. Yeah. But the same ones crying about protection. What are you gonna do? What would you do if you were standing there and you saw a young teen boy running, chasing after some teen girls with a machete? This is the reality. Toxic masculinity, yes, it hurts young boys, right? It hurts men, but it kills young girls and women. It kills us. And let's have an intra-community conversation about young black boys, young black teen boys, because it allegedly was a black teen boy who killed her. What are we doing? When are we going to stop this motherfucking intergender war? It can't be a war when one side has the weapons. And I don't want to hear, oh, that's what the white man, that's what the system wants you to think, that our young black boys and teens are dangerous. Well, the white man isn't in the room right now. Okay, because you're not hurting them. You're hurting black girls and women. Okay, black girls and women aren't the police. We're not the state. Where you're hurting us. And the thing is, it's been like this for centuries, for decades. But social media and us finally not showing the fuck up about it is telling you and showing you how bad it's been and how bad it is. It's going to have to be all men until we realize it's not this specific men, and that is going to start to translate if it hasn't already to our young teen boys. Do you understand the reality of that? It, we, we were not even sure if we can rehabilitate them. And we want to. We want to re- rehabilitate everybody. You see, you see, but this, not at the expense of our why, why is she talking about rehabilitation? She is, she wants, she is adamant. 
And she, I bet you she was cold in her motherfucking tongue from saying the word bullet bags. She was holding her tongue. But but this this is her trying to prove her point that black that there's some innate evil that black men have. And I've been trying to fucking figure this out. This is why I, I don't believe in the whole bullshit of mommy issues. I, I, I don't believe in that shit. You know, how how okay, if if if, if how the hell does a black man in, instinctively and or is the only race of man to have so called mommy issues, but you can't apply that same logic to the real devils of this earth. You can't apply the mommy issues to, to Hitler. You can't apply the mommy issues to, to Satan himself. You can't apply the, the mommy issues to uh, uh, to Leopold. You can't you can't apply the mommy issues to um, Napoleon. You can't you can't apply it to Genghis Khan. Uh, you can't apply it to uh, Mao Zedong. You, you can't apl- apply that to motherfucking uh, Saddam Hussein. Uh, Osama bin Laden, all them motherfuckers. Do these men have mommy issues? And the 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 trick, the trick, the trick, the trick is is that they want you to think that black men have this innate hatred for women that no other race of man has. And these bitches are going to do everything in their motherfucking power. To get you locked up. You know, it's... It, the, 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 fake, the fakeness of the modern black woman is, is crazy. And sometimes I don't, I don't even know where to go. It's like, is it Keisha? Is it the women from the, the islands? Is the African women? Is the mixed women? It's like... I, I don't... I, I, I'm like, bro, I just... I don't know where to go. It's... It's... It's it's like each one, each 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 nationality, each ethnicity, is a backstabbing bitch in a different way. 